Hi, I'm Heather from Heather Handmade, and today I'm going to teach you how to hem a sweater with hem tape. So most sweaters actually have a thick ribbing at the bottom of the sweater, and I have a different tutorial about how to hem a sweater and you keep the ribbing at the bottom, but some sweaters have a very thin ribbing or they are hemmed at the bottom and so I'm going to teach you that um, how to cut off the bottom and use hem tape to hem it up and make it still look nice and not stretch out as you sew it. So the things you'll need for your sweater is just your regular sewing tools like a sewing machine, scissors, and an iron and an ironing board. Also, the special thing that you'll need is soft stretch hem tape. This is by Heat and Bond, and this is the light version, so you have to sew it. It won't stay together if you don't sew it. It is permanent, and it is a double-sided adhesive, but one side has paper backing on it. And this, I love this because it gives just enough stability to your knit fabric that while you're sewing it, it won't stretch out but it is not so stiff that it you know, makes your hem drape differently or makes it look weird because you can tell that there's something thick right there in the hem. The first thing you need to do is put your sweater on and decide how much shorter your hem needs to be. So my sweater actually has a side slit, which I like and I don't wanna get rid of, so I'm not going to hem that much shorter. If you do need it to be a lot shorter and there is a side slit, most likely it's going to be removed if you need it to be shortened that much. I am going to shorten my sweater one inch. Um, I put it on and decided that that's how much shorter I'm going to do it and I'm still going to have the slit in the side seam. The technique I'm using, you can do the same thing with a sweater that doesn't have a slit in the side. It can be, you know, just one continuous circle. So I got my little sleeve board. This is just like a regular ironing board, but it's small. It works better for the video. And I have my iron right here and it's heating up right now. So I prefer when you cut through stretchy fabric, knit fabric, it has a tendency at the edge where you cut it to just kind of grow and get bigger and stretch out. So to fight the growing, I am going to put my hem tape on first before I cut it and that will give it some stability. And then I can cut at the bottom of the hem tape. So this is my little ruler I'm going to use to measure one inch up from the bottom. I'm removing one inch and then it will fold another 5 8 because this is how wide that is. That's how short I want it to be. Um, a lot of people like using a seam gauge, which is fine. You can use that. I just have gotten in the habit of using a small wooden ruler and that's my preference of what I use. So my hem is straight. It's straight across the bottom. So when I'm going to be adding the hem tape, I want to make sure that this line is straight and I you know put the hem tape on straight if your hem is curved you can still hem it you just have to cut your hem tape into smaller pieces to do it you know at a curve and you can keep that curve if you do your hem tape correctly so this is measuring up one inch that's where my hem tape is going to start. And you, I'm going to do one continuous piece of hem tape, but I'm going to work in small sections. And make sure that your sweater is fabric that can be ironed or that it can handle. Make sure your iron is on the heat that your sweater can handle. You don't want to accidentally melt your sweater with your iron.
now that I have the hem tape attached to both sides, now I can go in and cut the fabric right next to the hem tape. Now, you want to make sure that your this hem tape has cooled down before the, you peel the paper off. If you peel it off when it's warm, there's a chance it could peel the um, adhesive off. So now, I'm going to peel this off. And you can still kind of see it. It's kind of, it is almost a transparent hem tape. So now I'm going to go through and fold this up at the edge, fold it up and press it into, so that will hold that in place. The adhesive will iron up to the other edge. Now that this is pressed up in place, be careful not to peel it up because it is um, very lightweight and it needs to be sewn before it's um, completely permanent. So I'm going to use a twin needle to hem this. I have a video about hemming with a twin needle. You can go watch that video to learn how to do it. And I'm going to use matching thread on the top and the bottom. Now that it's hemmed, I didn't backstitch at the where I started and stopped. I just left long thread tails and I'll show you how to finish off this edge. But this is what the, the twin needle hem looks like. It is slightly stretched out and I think that is because of um, ironing. And once you wash it, it will shrink back to its regular size. So what you do is, what I like to do is I take the threads and I tie it into a, um, a square knot, right over left and then left over right. And that will make it so that thread can't come out. But then if you cut these thread tails, there's more of a chance for this knot to come undone. So what I do is I take a big needle and I thread all of this through the big needle, except I need to trim that. So I put all the threads into this needle. This <clears throat> is a hand needle. And I am going to thread the needle into the hem and I'm going to go in as far as I can without you don't want the needle to show on the front and you are essentially you know putting these thread tails into the hem so And then I cut that, but there is, you know, two to three inches of the thread tail inside that will make it less likely to pull out and come undone. 